in kickboxing and boxing, Jacob Ray at 135. About to make his professional debut. And you have there at 140 the other Jacob Ray. You, you have to You would have love to see it, wouldn't you? Jacob Ray versus Jacob Ray. Some Ray on Ray violence. So what fights are you most excited for tonight, my friend? Buddy, I got to say, uh, one of the most anticipated bouts on the entire card. Uh, and I'd say that goes for everybody in attendance. Stephen McGrew. Stephen McGrew is training partners with Eric Kuhn. We lost him a few months back. After that amazing fight that he had with Mitchell Vaughn, where he got the better of Vaughn, he TKO'd him. We see Stephen pass away under terrible circumstances. And then this bad blood boils up between Eric Kuhn and Mitchell Vaughn, and they said, that's the next fight. We're in the same weight class. We don't like each other. We're going to settle the score because there was supposed to be a rematch between yes. McGrew and Vaughn. That never happened. Kuhn stepped up in the place of his old friend, Stephen McGrew. And we see, I think, maybe the worst grudge match we've seen in New Line history. I would have developed. to agree. I would have to agree. Stepping into the cage now is Joseph Eggleston. This is a featherweight MMA bout. And I'm very excited to see him step into the cage against Sheldon Starcher, the return of Sheldon Starcher. Here we see him walk into the cage. This is a guy who just fought for the title and came up short against Chase Thomas in a really incredible fight. You know, well, and this is uh, Sheldon's going to be a really good uh, test here for Joseph Eggleston. This will actually be Eggleston's first sanctioned bout. He uh, he's had some experience in street beefs where he went four and zero, but this is his first sanctioned bout, and I would say uh, Starcher's probably one of the better guys to welcome him to the cage so for his first sanctioned fight. As far fight. as fights, you know, how do you compare a street beefs fight? To an actual sanctioned fight in the cage. Well, like, I mean, do you think that gives you the the kind of experience you need? Because on the, paper, he he's had he's more, fights more fights. Than I, I would agree, but at the same time, you know, street beefs—they've got that big uh, YouTube name, but uh, it's a lot more informal. It's, it's a lot it's more exactly, laid back. Exactly, this under is the a big lights yes, here with You've the got a huge crowd. You've got the actual mats in the cage as opposed to the ground. Um, you know, it's just, as we start you've got an established guy that's the been here with us before, so it's, it's different. Fight card we have for this fight. Featherweight, mixed martial arts, 145 pounds, three rounds at two minutes. We have, out of the blue corner, representing Mount Olivet, Kentucky, Joseph Jojo Eggleston! His opponent, out of the red corner, representing Spencer, West Virginia, Sheldon BB's Starcher! I think this is a good bout to open us up here, Elijah. Absolutely. Sheldon Starcher is always exciting, and he's he's really stepped up his training lately. He's been training at Category 5 in Hurricane, West Virginia, there with Eric Kuhn. Big right hand from Sheldon Starcher. And Sheldon's he gets the body to lock, take him down here. on top here, directly in full mount, right in front of us. He's going to try. You can see Eggleston trying to walk the cage here to buck him off. But Sheldon, Sheldon Starcher's going to want to try to break the arms out of that grit, those d uh, double overhooks. But he's going to get rolled almost, if he's not careful here. Eggleston almost walked out of it. And Sheldon with a beautiful reversal. Now Sheldon just needs to settle in here. Get there position he and work his arms on free. The top mount. There you go. And he's posturing he's, up. Work one of his arms free. Eggleston trying to break him back down. Starcher staying heavy. I'd like to see Sheldon start framing off of his face. That's how he'll make the space. But he's got it an like arm Sheldon's triangle going position. going for the arm triangle. And all he's going to do is start working that arm up. He's lost. He left it. Let it go now. There it is. 
Eggleston put himself in this position. Yeah, he was out. And he, and he is put himself not right back in, and he's going to There tap. it is. Beautiful. Sheldon Starcher. First round submission from Sheldon Starcher, and he is back in the win column. And we see his brother, also an active new line fighter, Preston, going bananas in the corner. Here comes the replay. And you see he was out. He was out, and then he Steps just goes right, right back over. in. Yep. And Eggleston... Not and much as a He didn't for know how to defend it. No. He just tapped. Had he been able to try to answer the phone there, he may have lasted a little bit longer, created himself some more space. But got four it was pretty for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hey, that's it. Not a bad day at the office for young Sheldon Starcher. Absolutely not. Gets the body lock takedown. Especially coming off of a title fight. Goes this directly into full mount, right for the arm triangle. Didn't take any damage either. Beautiful fight. I expect lots of big things to come for both Starcher brothers. Your winner, round one, a minute and 13 seconds by arm triangle out of the red corner, Sheldon Starcher. And Sheldon Starcher moves to two and two.